Hi, welcome to Thunder Show and the hottest moments of the past week. This episode is all about new tactics, new takes on flanking, on ranging shots, and even on smashing the ground. Let's get started. Enemy air defense simply ignores Bufficky Buff 2 here, and reasonably so. What can they do to it with their surface-to-air missiles? Well, here's what. Lock onto a nearby ally plane, quickly switch to the ground vehicle, and send it straight to the hangar. It might be hard to believe, but there's an even better surprise flanker than a missile-equipped Toyota SUV. We mean, of course, the BM-31. All the milk truck needs to unlock its full potential is some special trees and fences. If there's some around, you better watch out. The furious flames will melt the snow, and a couple seconds later, four frags will be smoking in this field. If you're four kilometers away and trying to hit someone with an HE shell by taking ranging shots with the help of a drone, that's pretty fun, although challenging. And what if the target's also moving? Well, this tanker couldn't care less. They still achieve a hit and turn the enemy into a smoking pile of scrap. Gachi Hyper's jet is literally on fire here. The aircraft's gonna go bust soon, so they launch a missile and completely lose control over the machine. Well, only one way left now, down. But the HMD is still working, so the pilot keeps moving their head, locking onto targets and leaving their parting gifts. When a PE-8 takes a five-ton bomb to a flight, its only hope is to have that single successful drop. But Preferencer is built different. Showing incredible perseverance, they take this four-engined monster bomber to the skies time and time again to drop more and more Fab 5000 bombs on enemy groups, only to finally earn an even more dangerous bomb, a nuclear one. And now let's visit Live War Thunder, as we usually do, to feel the distant breeze of winter. Although you don't need to worry about the cold if you have this, a special MI-8 made for the harsh Arctic climate. It must be warm inside, right? Right? Oof, we really don't want to think about winter now. By the way, War Thunder is never cold, even on the snowiest maps. It's the opposite, actually. It sometimes gets too hot. So we're happy if you could catch a break with this video. As always, we're looking forward to your replays. Stay warm.